Welcome to another vlog. Wow! No, seriously, my nipples are really, really hard. <laughs> Look at this. It's like a static connection. It's so hard that it like feel like it's tingling. Oh. Alright, so today we're making waffles. Shout out to Jimmy's <laughs> for the wonderful opportunity. <laughs> oh shit, there's another one. It's Gucci, it's Gucci. All right, so now we're gonna get a one third cup of. Okay, where's one third of the cup? All right, we're gonna pour the oil in. Oh shit, we gotta add water too. No, because. You just never know in the comments. I can't even see my face, I'm so fucking tall. So I just wanna mix and mix and mix and mix. It really helps if you have like a little extra fat on your elbow, like right there. Cause I got a little extra fat. So that gives it like a little horsepower. That's a furious. Nitro. <laughs> turbo. turbo, yes. Dude, we need to get a puppy for real, for real. I think this is done. Love to make crunchy waffles because my waffles are Belgian, so they don't come out crispy. <laughs> they come out a little soft, a little fluff, but I want some crispy waffles. Today, welcome to the, um, what should I call it? I don't know. Watch Jimmy John's try to like say some shit because I'm wearing their shirt. I was gonna ask you that. I was like, do you have to like edit that out? No. <laughs> <laughs> they better be like, I don't say their secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jimmy John's, man. All home of the real natural meats. I know you motherfucking lie. Now it's time to make some fucking waffles. Pick and spray butter, preferably. It's gonna make it right. It's gonna make it tight. Here's the shit. All right. What's up everybody? It is me. This is my first vlog. Welcome to my very, 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 very first, first vlog ever. I am currently, um, I went into Publix to get some last minute uh, groceries. We went shopping, me and my roommates went shopping yesterday. So, um, and I just had to go back today and just get like a little bit of more stuff that we probably need and also we needed something for what we're we making tonight for Din Din. But other than that, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm about to go back home. Like I don't live too far from this Publix, thank God. Traffic. Um, so yeah. Just got back from Publix. Well, I can't be seeing my total. I just got, like I said, a little bit of things that we didn't get yesterday. These are some Pop-Tarts, cause you know, we big kids at heart. <laughs> M&M's, for whatever reason. These plums, let me tell y'all about these plums. These plums are so fucking good. If you don't know what they are, they're like, they're called red plums and they're like so freaking good. Like y'all need to really get onto it. And that's all I've been eating for my little snacks, you know. <laughs> and, um, got cilantro because tonight we're making um, taco bowls, taco salad bowls. So we got milk because how else are you gonna eat cereal? <laughs> Let's be real. Um, so yeah. Here I am just 
I'm basically just doing, looking at my video, the, the first one I posted, and um, doing some things to it, um, as in like, some back. But also just looking at the things that are going down in, um, in the world, and just all the things that the statues, removals, all of those things, it's just like, to me, I just feel like, why do people want to recreate history in a different manner than what was already taught and what was already lived beyond our time? I mean, before our time. So it's just like, it's just sad that people, nowadays you can get offended for the littlest things at that. And it's just like, girl, why? <laughs> People should really have beef. People should really protest IRS, okay? Those are the people who I want to protest against. Like, but you don't see my big ass like causing boycotts. I get it, everyone has their own opinion. Everybody has the right to voice it. But uh, it does not make it right for a person to act out of character. It's just like, it's gonna be a shame that things that has happened now will be the new history that would be taught to this generation set of kids. You know what I mean? It's not gonna be a whole topic about what happened at the Holocaust, the Civil War, and all those things. All those things are gonna be erased because how people are acting in this day and age, in this century that we're living in today. People are acting like the word history, reiterate history, but do it in the way that they wanna do it in. And I believe strongly in world peace, I believe world peace is something that can be coexistent and it can happen, but people just choose to find another alternative to express their political views or their views on how to interpret history. Like, you know what I mean? And it's just like, history is a wonderful thing. History means a lot. Like, it means a lot to a lot of people because we didn't live those times to understand what happened. Only thing we can go off of it are stories or you know, books that were made back in their time to at least explain, like, you know what I mean? It's like little things like that. It's just like, those are the fun things about history that I love. Those are the fun things about history that I feel like everyone should know and should love and not try to like tear down these uh, fucking statues. Like, oh, because it's confederate. Like, do your research, okay? <laughs> do your research. Because how I see it, everyone's going to be offended by something. A person can be offended nowadays for how a building structure is built. But I just didn't want to go too much deep into that. But I did. But hey, it's whatever. Sorry if I'm looking over here and looking over there. Because I'm looking at myself. And I'm on my, I'm recording off of my iPhone 7 Plus. So just bear with me for the meantime. This is my struggle phases. Like I said, like, you know what I mean? Like, this is my channel where I can just be 100% real with y'all. Like, y'all are gonna be seeing my struggles. <laughs> Not my struggles now, like, I mean, we all struggle, but you know what I mean? Like, you guys are gonna be there the whole time for everything. So it's like, I just want you guys to feel like that you can come out of, you can dig out of, you can act and think a certain way instead of thinking negative. You know what I mean? Like, there's a tons of shit that happens. Tons of stuff that has happened to me. This year alone, <laughs> this year alone, there has been so much things about that has happened in my life. And yes, I did have my moments when I had my doubts and I did have my wonders and you know what I mean? And my uh, spirits was just not correlating with my mind. You know what I mean? So this year, it has taught me so much about myself. It has taught me that the moments that I thought I wasn't strong, I was. It's been a lot, but you know what I mean? You guys are gonna see all of that. Like, you guys are gonna be a part of this journey with me as I, you know what I mean, go through my life of the rest of this year and for what, how, however long I'm gonna be doing YouTube for, which is gonna be a long time. Uh, YouTube has been something that I've wanted to do since I was in middle school, eighth grade. I wanted to do YouTube so bad. Ever since I watched uh, Todrick Hall uh, videos, like he was my YouTube idol, and um, yeah, I saw Todrick Hall's uh, his videos that he used to do, like the covers for like the McDonald's drive-through and the Starbucks thing, and Target. So I seen how expressive he was, and I was just like, oh, okay, like you know what I mean. 
it's okay to be expressive and like you know have other people share that you can share that with other people and that's how i've always been i've always been like the type of person that's like really funny i'm really like i'm really down to earth cool like you know cool compliment that's if you don't try me then we good we money yeah, of course that's a different side but yeah so it's like i'm cool i'm cool you know what i mean? I'm trying to say like with this youtube thing i'm so off topic Damn! Okay, anyway, like I was saying, like... I just didn't know how to do it and how to do the platform for it. I thought you had to be a special person to be nominated to do it, so I was just like, oh, I hand me the ass. Like, that was my idea of it. But anyway, but now that I am doing it, I love it. Like I said, like I'm gonna keep up with it. I'm gonna keep doing it. It's gonna be something I'm gonna be doing for a while. Um, so I want you guys to be a part of my journey. Like that's why I'm doing vlogs. This is my first one. I can't believe that this is my first ever blog. I said blog. Girl, I know you're lying. But get it right, money. Cool, like you know what I mean? Like I'm excited to see the next, like to go on. Cause that's, I keep doing them. But back to the beginning of the reason why I talk so fucking long to get to this point. That's why I'm looking over here instead of looking at the camera. So I'm looking at myself to make sure I'm all right. And then I'm also really supposed to be looking at my camera. But if you guys see me looking both ways, just bear with me. You know what I mean? Like I said, until I get a better camera. <laughs> so uh, I should be going to get my roommates, picking up my roommates soon, actually. That's gonna be litty. Tonight, like I said, we making taco salad. Like bowls, really. It's gonna be really cool. You guys wanna see that? But, so, uh, I am in, at my old job that I used to work at because my roommate still works here. And she's still a supervisor, so. Yeah, here, just to chat with some of my old coworkers. Um, yeah. And I'm just playing we can motherfucking tart up and get lit as fuck. Let me just stop, cause that was not necessary at all. But anywho. Oh my god, black? I know you fucking lying. Ooh. Okay, there we go. It is an ugly day here in Florida. This is where I reside. It's an ugly day. It is gray. It is not sunny at all. They say it's sunshine shade, but honey, it is the bipolar state of the world of the nation. So, yeah, I want to know about y'all and what y'all do.